Have you ever been to a restaurant that gave you the absolute best experience? They had the best food, great service, and the environment was amazing. This became you and your friend's new favorite brunch spot and you all gave it positive reviews. These positive reviews even boosted the company to where it became even more popular and got greater business. Now, on the contrary, there's this one restaurant you visited that was short staffed, long wait times for food, and got your orders completely wrong. These impacted their restaurant reviews very negatively. Now, my question for you is, which restaurant would you want to be at? Don't you want stuff done right the first time? Well, at Done Right Consulting Firm, we make sure that happens. Our company started three years ago with a mission to inspire. Done Right Consulting Company was founded upon college students looking to prove that we can be just as successful. We like to encourage creative mindsets and the ability to get things done in a timeless manner. We strive to be honest and truthful in all situations and think our creative abilities, when coming together, bring us to success. Our company communicates effectively with clients and employees by actively listening to one another and making sure that everyone is heard. Once ideas and topics are discussed, we brainstorm what is the best way to move on from there. Now you may be asking yourself, how can Dunright Consulting Firm really help me? Well, we as a team work to make sure we support each client fairly and as efficiently as possible. It is important to have a team of people who love what they're doing and will give you the attention that you deserve, and we do just that. With that being said, hi, my name is Hannah Duffler, and I serve as one of the consultants within our firm at Done Right Consulting Firm. Within this role, I'm here to make sure that you are getting the absolute best advice within your company. As one of the consultants for our firm, I have worked in a team setting for three years now. I have a degree in communications with a public relations focus and a minor in marketing. I also worked as a marketing representative for Sony Music while in college and was on a team setting with over 40 people. Effective communication is something I learned to be important in creating an image for yourself and can highly impact your company. I strive to respond within one hour of receiving information and allow for great customer service to you. It is important that you know the experience I have and knowledge of building a brand to show my credibility within the company. As a consulting firm, we strive for our team to be knowledgeable of effective communication and other skills to better equip your own goals. The information I shared can benefit you when you choose to help your restaurant. We will help build your company's reputation as well as give proper advice to help fix any changes along the way. The restaurant I reviewed is Brown Dog Eatery. Brown Dog is a restaurant located in Carrollton, Georgia, offering southern dishes, cocktails, draft brews, and has patio seating. The restaurant has been open since October 6, 2016, and they offer takeout and dine-in options. Some competitors include Irish Bread Pub, City Tavern, and Corner Cafe. These restaurants are located in the downtown area along with Brown Dog. They all attract a lot of business due to college students going out in the same area. Some differences would be food served at these restaurants. Irish Bread Pub is bar food, City Tavern it has a variety, and Corner Cafe mainly specializes in sandwiches. When looking at restaurant reviews, it's important to look at the customer satisfaction and experience they had while dining at the restaurant. For example, this customer said, we went with a large group of 17. They were very accommodating and everyone really enjoyed their lunch. I think accommodation with big parties is a huge part of really being able to run a business, especially a restaurant. Another strength includes the great food and service that this customer had. Good food and good service is always important in the restaurant industry. This review states, this is a cute little restaurant with good food. It seems to be busy all the time that they are open. Brown Dog has a relaxed vibe and decor, great service and a unique menu, definitely worth a visit. They also have outdoor seating area that is dog friendly. Outdoor seating in a college town is huge, especially when it comes to warmer weather and has a great benefits as well. Now, restaurant weaknesses are always something that we have to look into too when looking into restaurants and definitely are something that we can improve on. This one says, as one of our usual go-tos for consistency, 
flavorful quality food. I ate dinner here on Friday evening after having eaten here and never been disappointed. So this person has never been disappointed before, but this time the food was tasteless. Some dishes were undercooked, others were overcooked, and that's always something that you wanna look into and make sure that you never have that issue within a restaurant. Now this restaurant complains about the kitchen cleanliness. When you have the kitchen viewable to your customers, you wanna make sure that that is being cleaned at all times. So this is definitely something that Brown Dog could work on and make sure that this is fixed for the next time for them. Now kitchen safety and cleanliness is always also a very important factor when you're running a restaurant business. This customer said in her review that an employee that was working in the kitchen did not have a hairnet in her hair, which obviously if there was a hair in her food, that would have been a complaint and that would not have been good. So making sure that those practices are being put into place for all employees is very important as well. Now this review is talking about the wait time and the bar allowing to be holding seats for others that aren't there. So with that being said, wait times are hard because every restaurant is gonna have them, but accommodation for other places that you could be sitting should be taken into consideration and definitely something the restaurant could be working on. The information provided about Brown Dog's reviews are important for you to know in order to make changes and keep the positive stuff going. Something Brown Dog is doing really well compared to the competitor at City Tavern is they're very accommodating to large groups. The tavern doesn't have large tables for huge parties and is a place where you seat yourself when you walk in. One of their competitors, Corner Cafe, talked about great service and quick to put in drink and food orders. One negative review from Brown Dog talked about the super busy wait time on food and how it really isn't ideal for children because of that. Next, I will be speaking on recommendations I have made to help improve Brown Dog with some opportunities to put into place as well as any threats that we may encounter. Now, this restaurant has a lot of opportunities that could be put into place to really just improve the overall wellness and being of this restaurant in general. One of those opportunities could be by pushing back these front tables in the restaurant and allowing for more waiting room area. That is a huge problem right now, and I believe that that could really improve the overall quality of the restaurant. Opportunity number two could really be using social media to post about job opportunities within Brown Dog, such as hiring waiters, hiring cooks, hiring cleaners, anything of that sort, but really getting the word out there to improve wait staff and increase the ability to have more people sit at, at most times. Opportunity number three consists of just really making sure there is someone on staff to keep the restaurant clean, including the kitchen area, since it is visible to those eating, which is something that was from a negative review stated earlier. To gain more traction to the restaurant, especially when it comes to summertime, opportunity number four could really be having a happy hour from 12 to three on Saturdays, which would improve business, and also having half off appetizers, $5 cocktails, anything of that sort. This opportunity could really bring more business, especially summer outdoor seating, and just really bring more of a vibe to this college town. Now, there are some threats that will come to this restaurant, and I think this number one could be one customer claiming she will never come back because her waiter went missing and never came to their table or brought what they needed. Therefore, to improve this, Brown Dog will need to hire more waiters. Threat number two. So one customer went to order food to go and was asked to sit down, order the food, and get it delivered to the table, and then put it into go boxes. She said, given the economy, they do this to customers, this is unacceptable. Just because of this incident, I may never come here again. To fix this issue, I think managers should really put in a system in place to make sure to-go orders are being packed for customers without them having to do it themselves. Threat number three comes with kitchen cleanliness, which is what I stated before. A review stated, I saw an employee that worked in the kitchen with her hair down. She wasn't wearing a hairnet and didn't have it pulled up. She's lucky I didn't have a hair in my food, but y'all are warned. There should be a rule in place that has all hair pulled up with a hairnet to make sure that this is never an issue with a restaurant. Another threat includes, I got my food and my burger was dry, overcooked, over seasoned with onion powder and salt. I couldn't even finish it. This should never be an issue when in a restaurant. You should be able to eat your food without any of these complaints. So this should be resolved by having a day where the staff and managers taste test all the food and see what needs to be changed to improve the quality and taste of their food. 
Within the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that I stated before, I will go over them again. With strengths, they're very accommodating to large groups. They have daily specials. They have a relaxed vibe and environment and even have outdoor seating. With weaknesses, there was seen to be tasteless food, a nasty kitchen area, and long wait times. With opportunities, we can expand this waiting area, utilize social media to gain traction, improve the cleaning staff, and have even a happy hour opportunity. With threats, we saw that the waiter didn't come to the table a lot, customers had to box her own to-go food, kitchen employees had her hair down and wasn't wearing a hairnet, and there was seen to be dry and overcooked food. In conclusion, managing your restaurant reviews is so important for keeping a good image. You should be checking reviews every day to ensure that if any problems arise, you can reach out and fix the issue. You can continue to strengthen your restaurant against competitors by utilizing the SWOT analysis to examine opportunities to gain more customers, as well as find ways to improve any of those weaknesses. By utilizing social media to show dining experiences, showcase specials, you can gain more customer awareness. I enjoyed having the opportunity to help Brown Dog manage the reviews and provide some recommendations to help assist in the improvement of the restaurant's image, communication, and even customer service. In conclusion, you can contact us at 770-850-7341 or also at DunRightConsulting at yahoo.com. And our website is www.DunRightConsulting.com. Also, make sure to wear our complimentary t-shirt to let others know so we can help other restaurants as well. Don't forget you can reach out to myself or my team by contacting our phone number or emailing us. Thank you so much.